Through the Wittons of Scotland's 2011 census, I amazed twa million folk he some skill with a Scots lead. But what is this lead we ca Scots, and war did it come for? Scots has a wheen different names. Scots, Scotch, Braid Scots, Lolland Scot, and Lallans for by. In the United Kingdom, folk speaks it mostly in the mid and in the northeast of Scotland, but also in Orkney and Shetland, and in Galloway, Borders, Caithness, and other airts. Scots is also spoken in parts of Ulster. The earliest leads we have canons though in the UK have their foons in the Celtic family. We can on to Wittons of twa kinds, Godelic, the antecessor of Erse, Scottish Gaelic and Manx, and Brythonic, with an offspring that tacks in Welsh, Cornish and the no longer extant Cumbric. When the Romans first came to the Isle of Breton, they met with a puckle of tribes who spacked diverse kinds of Brythonic. Northward of Hadrian's Wall be the Pechts, whose lead was most likely a form of Brythonic. We ken that our muckle anent the Pectish lead, and what is kent comes mostly from place names scattered around the Norland and east mace parts of Scotland, as in place name it starts with Pit. After the Romans had gone their ways, a different Celtic clan, this time with its roots in Ireland, made ingangins into the lands of the Pechts. The reavers of this clan, cried Scoti by the Romans, made him in the western airts of Scotland, then part of the kingdom of Dalriada. Their mother tongue was Alders, a Goidelic form of Celtic, an antecessor of our ain day Scottish Gaelic. Main time in the south, from mid 5th century on, fully in the Romans lousen through their stranghods in Britain, Thrangs of Angles, Saxons and Jutes come out of the channel. They bade first in East Anglia, Kent and to the south, and their leads were forms that were Sib to Was Germanic. No money generations after, the Anglo-Saxons had racks to the west and north, winning to the Loudons in the sacked century. Their lead, at we mostly give the name Old English, had four main dialects, Northumbrian, Mercian, Kentish and West Saxon. The twa northernmost dialects, or the gither Kent as Anglian, had a muckle pert to play in the upbigging of the Scots lead. As matter of course, there was no Scottish nation in the sixth century. The kingdom of Northumbria racks to the nor as far as the fifth or fourth, while nor of that, the Pechts and the Gaels would hod poor. Neast came the Vikings. To the nor and east in England, the Danes established the Dane law, a muckle swayed at independent poor. To the nor of Scotland, and in the northern and western isles, the Norwegians come reaving and sign saddle. That pair to England then may thrang with Scandinavian presence, is often cried the Great Scandinavian Belt. The local dialects of English took up a feck of Norse words. Many of these words are now pair to standard English, sick as sky, egg and take, and the pronouns they, them and their. Others have been restricted to mere local usage, as in the likes of lug and lass. Thrang with the Vikings further south, the Northumbrians with their English lead were hummel in the uphodden of their northern merchies, and would gee over the Loudons to the Gaelic-speaking Kingdom o' Alaba. And though Gaelic was by then the heedmess lead out through the feck of Scotland, Anglian dialects would hod ticht out through mace to the Lawlands. After 1066, England came under the maestry of the Normans, and French was now the lead of the governing classes. The Normans didn't whummel the poor's estate in Scotland. Whoever, the Scottish royal court would ken Norman Micht. King of at first, Merit Matilda, grand niece to William the Conqueror, and Scottish lands and lairships were geared to the Anglo-Norman High Hegians. The Scottish Normans, what came mostly for the north of England and East Midlands, brought with them a muckle number of folk, many of whom were English speakers, were hailed through the old Danelaw parts what meant their English had a routh of Scandinavian words. This would he a wechty pert to play in the macking of the Scots lead. King Dovet would also establish royal boroughs, tunes we by ordinary treadenrechts that would attract gentility, peasants, treaders and guildsmen etlin to make a living. They drew in folk from the north of England and from Fremit Eirts, mostly from the Lech countries. The Jekenet Scots has a foot of words borrowed from Dutch, 
among them Loon and Keek. The common tongue in Scottish boroughs thereby broke together in different measures, Gaelic, the local Anglian, English with Scandinavian influence, and Dutch. Most of the documents scrive it in Scotland afore the hen end of the 13th century are scrive it in Latin. This makes it a trochel to follow the way the lead we ken the day as Scots would grow out of this mixter maxter of leads. What can be concluded, who and ever, is that the heed mace thread in the mack-up of Scots is Old English, whether for the local Anglian dialect of the Loudons or Scandinavian-influenced English of the Dane law. The feck of the ordner, courtly and legal words used in early Scots, by contrast, came from French and Latin. North of the fourth, Gaelic as the spoken lead was Guy Mare to the fore. This resulted in the northern and western spread of Scots being slower in the uptake, particularly outweigh the boroughs. This is ain reason as to why the dialects for Aboon the Fourth are unalike for dialects of the Central Belt. By the 17th century, changes in the stoning between Scotland and England had gapped Scots tyne muckle at Smedham, as a screve at lead, at mair and mair gied way to English, ain's Lunnan came to be seen as heed maced and maters a lead. As a spoken tongue, Money Scots found it to their advantage to uphold their affairs in English instead. Who and ever, nae able to read out their Scots pronunciations altogether, the mixture that resulted is what we would now generally cry Scottish English. But as a spoken tongue, an ain which is often represented in its various dialects through scrivet works, Scots bides on and continues to evolve. Without doubt, it is a Germanic lead at its hert, and is mace sib to English. For by, it carries by it all the wealth hearst it frae the money threads of leads and folk at Scotland has broke together over the ages. <laughs>